my beautiful bride. Falling in love with you is the easiest thing I've ever done. With so many things to love you for, I don't know if there's any book long enough for me to list them all. So just know that before I get into my vows, I wanted to say a few things that I love you for, even though it isn't enough. From the beginning, I loved your passion. I love how you put the most into everything you do and how you never sell yourself short on anything you put your mind to. I love how you look at the world with eyes of justice and how you seek to smooth all of its rough edges. I love how fiercely you love me, family, friends, and everyone around us. All of this, plus the fact that you're super hot, and so much more are the reasons that I'd marry you in a million lifetimes. To my boy and my very soon-to-be future husband, we have waited what seems like forever for this day, and I feel so prepared no matter what comes because just the thought of being with you forever makes me so excited. I think the perfect way to describe you is by saying that you are my sunshine. I was content on my own before I met you. Then by some invisible string, you came into my life and only made it better at a time when I needed you the most. Without further ado, here are my vows to you. I vow to love you for forever, unconditionally. I vow to protect you from all that seeks to harm you. I vow to never take you for granted. I vow to always hold myself to the highest standard so that I may give you and any family we create all that you deserve. I vow to always be a rock you can lean on when times are hard. I vow to hold you second to none but God. I vow to lead you and any children we have through an amazing life. And last, I vow to always see you as my beloved princess. I love you, and I'm so happy that I get to be the guy that has the privilege to spend the rest of his life with you. We've always known that this day isn't truly about the wedding itself, but it's about the marriage that lies ahead. Because of this, I'm not nervous for this day. I could never be nervous with you. I look ahead to our future, and I know you'll be standing by my side no matter what comes because you're my home. You're a constant in my life, and I can always count on you even when I'm tired of being around everyone else and I need a break, curling up beside you always relieves my stress. I can talk to you about anything and everything without any shame or embarrassment. You're accepting of me and you love me as I am, flaws and all. You're the biggest supporter of all of my big dreams and goals. You're my first boyfriend, my first kiss, and I can't wait to share a lifetime more of first with you. I know we'll have plenty of adventures together because every day has been an adventure with you. You know how to cheer me up when I'm sad. You can read me like a book so I can never hide any emotions from you no matter how hard I try. You always know exactly what to say and you're always there with a new joke to make me laugh. I've loved growing up with you for almost five years now. We quite literally spent almost every single one of those days together and over time you've become my best friend. I've seen you work hard to get better each day and we've changed so much together. We've stuck with each other through all of the hardships that have come our way, and we've only grown in love and friendship. I promise to hold you and myself accountable always. I promise to be honest and to be patient with you. I will strive to serve you as well as you serve me each and every day. Finally, I vow to continue to spend every day with you, growing together and continuously getting better as individuals and as husband and wife. I love you, my boy. One reason that God has given us marriage is to sanctify one another. 
A second reason is so that we may have support as we navigate the storms of life. As God has given us marriage to serve as a picture of Christ's love for his bride, the church. Jesus tells us in the Gospel of John that greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. This is the ultimate sacrifice and is what love is really all about, sacrifice. Sometimes big and sometimes small, but true love is all about sacrifice. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Schrock. You may kiss the ride. Know the walls are for now a little empty But you the eye of an artist So let's paint the walls with laughter Until not a spot is missed What's your number one marriage tip? My number one tip is to be successful. Don't do dumb crap. Don't go to bed mad with one another. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Don't let Megan cook. Always tell your husband to agree with the wife. A pre note. This will be our home. This will be our home. Twine your treasures on the shelves with mine Hang your dresses by the mirror I've never heard my heart sing the way it is now that you're here Down and you flow next to me. 